In this video, we will be driving an MBTA train from Stoughton Station to Boston. To Bo Boston South Station, that is. So let's unlock the doors and get the train set up. Neutral. Turn, gotta turn, turn these switches on up here so we can drive, drive the train from this end. We'll turn the headlights to dim for now. And while we wait, let's go. Let's go back to the locomotive. While we wait, let's go back to the locomotive. And uh, turn turn on the marker lights so there's so we have red lights at the back of the train. Everything's good here, because because this locomotive is already shut down on this end. This cab is shut down on this end. So turn on the rear marker lights. We'll turn on the front number lights as well, so people can see people can see the the number on on the locomotive. And now back we go. All right, let's close the doors. Doors are all closed. Let's set the reverser to Wait a minute. Oh, I I pressed the wrong marker lights. Front marker lights on. I don't want the rear marker lights on, I just want the front marker lights on. Uh, I pressed the wrong button, now the marker lights on this side are on. And I don't want that right now, I want the marker lights on the front. Marker lights rear off. There we go. Now let's set the neutral to forward. Make sure we'll, we'll make sure the locomotive responds when we set the reverse of the forward. And it seems we are all good. the brakes and we'll release the brakes
make sure the brakes are all off properly, properly off. They're good, they are, they're good, they're good. Someone in the comments will have to tell me what the horn sequence is supposed to be. Is it like three seconds, three seconds, five seconds, or three seconds, five seconds, or what? What's this? What's the sequence is supposed to be when you blow the when you blow the horn when crossing a railway crossing? Right. Welcome. Well. Welcome aboard. I'm your conductor, KC34, taking you to Boston. Thank you for traveling, MBTA. And our next stop will be Canton Center. Canton Center. I gotta slow down. Should have gone. Slow. I'm gonna turn the headlights to bright, um, which I should have done before we left the station.
further slowed down because we're only supposed to go when we get up to the next signal we're only supposed to be doing 30 so I'm going to slow down in preparation for that the gas station. Oh, overshot, overshot, badly, sorry about the bad land, folks. Yeah, we, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we definitely stopped too late, we definitely overshot. Anyways, here's the outside of the train. We gotta be care careful here. We can only go so fast. Canton Junction will be the next stop. Canton Junction. And hopefully I stopped the right place this time. We are now arriving at Canton Junction.
Here's another train coming, heading the other way. And our next station will be Route 128, which I assumed, which I assume Route 128 is named after a highway or something. Must be. Ignore my mumbling in the background, that's, that's just me. Sorry about that. That's just me mumbling a little stuff in the background. Anyways, along we go to the next station. We're on the main line now, so we can, now we can get some speed up. I better stay here. I better stay here a lot. Gotta watch the speedometer. Maybe when we stop, we'll go for a quick. I'll go for a quick walk around the cab. Show you. Show you what. Show you what the rest. Show you what the train cars look like. I'll give you a little tour of that.
and a perfect stop. And now that the train has stopped, let's get a quick tour of the train car. So this is what the cab car looks like. This is the cab car. Close that over so passengers don't wander into the driver's cab. Good, good place if you're a rail fan. You can just get a put your camera right near this door. Get get a view out the window like that, and get a view of the driver. I mean, as, as a person that films trains myself I I wouldn't I I wouldn't really care if people I wouldn't care if people did that I wouldn't mind I know some drivers do mind but I don't yep so this is the door so obviously the trap door is is down because this is a high platform station and it's pretty much the same thing among amongst the trains the exact same thing actually just the coaches just a little tour of the train cars on this train. This is what it looks like. This kind of these are like older car. These are older cars. I think from I don't know, eighties, nineties. I'm not sure. I'm better at identifying locomotives than I am at identifying passenger cars, unfortunately, because I, I mean, as far as I, I'm not sure what kind of train cars these are. But I know that I do know obviously that the locomotive is an F forty cat. The locomotive at currently at the back of the train. The back of my train. Anyways, the next stop is Hyde Park. We didn't actually on the way on the way to Stoughton when I did the route on the way to Stoughtonville we didn't actually we didn't actually stop at I don't think we actually stopped at Hyde Park we just went from Boston Back Bay track Boston Back Bay to to um, route 128 but yeah I guess it was in the early morning like after seven that I did that one it was that was like an early morning route that I did so I guess so I guess maybe that was maybe that was like an express train or something making only making in the morning early morning that only makes like select stops I don't know Very nice scenery. Very nice. Yeah, it's very so very very nice scenery as we go by. <laughs> Even though the track speed is 120 and the signal says that we're clear to go 90, we we. We have to follow the speed limit. We have to follow. Unfortunately, we have to follow the speed limit because because we're because because of the type of train we're driving, a diesel commuter train. We're only we're only allowed to go up to 80 miles an hour, and that's about it. I guess this train doesn't stop at this station. This station. 
So yeah, I guess I guess the Stoughton line train only only makes only makes uh, select stops on the on here on the main here on the main line, Boston to Pro the Boston to Providence line. I guess the Stoughton train only makes select select stops in this in this area. Oh, didn't didn't go far didn't go far enough. I stopped I stopped uh, too soon. I I jumped I jumped the gun too soon. I think just apply, applying the emergency brake like that. Don't think I should have just I don't think I should have just went right to the emergency brake like that. That was probably not the best thing to do. Our next stop will be Boston Back Bay Station.
are now going about as fast as we're allowed to go with this train. So enjoy. I really like this game. They did a very they did a very good job. The people in Trains and Worlds, people that make these games do a very good job making it feel kind of real. Like, like it really feels like we're kind of leaving it you really get the feeling that you're you're like leaving the countryside behind and and starting to come and starting to uh, come into the city as uh, buildings start to get closer together and less more concrete around you you can tell that you're coming into the city And yes, I realize Train Sim World does have certain, does have its flaws with graphics in some parts, but I guess, I guess just as a guy that's still kind of used to playing Train Simulator Classic, for the longest time I've played Train Simulator Classic, I first, when I first got it, I got Train Simulator 18. And compared to that game, and obviously all these graph, all these graphics are like, Obviously, the top, the graphics on this game are like top notch compared compared to the graphics on Train Simulator Classic. So I guess I'm, I guess I'm just used to playing that game. Game. I'm. That's why I'm kind of. A, I'm. I'm always so impressed. That's why I'm always, even if it's kind of bad, I'm always so impressed on the, the graph, the graphics on this game. The graphics that this one. Has. And we have a yellow signal coming up, which means past that yellow signal, we can only do 45 miles an hour, so I better slow down. I like playing this game because I like the feet because I because I like that feeling of like we're we're coming into the city now we're coming we're leaving the countryside we're coming into the city and like the the contrast in landscape. Anyways, enough of that. We are now coming into Boston Back Bay, Boston Back Bay Station.
right. We're almost we're almost there, folks. What? Go to East Limits Cove Interlocking. Where is that? Huh. All right then. Here we go. I don't know where East Coast Interlocking is, but as far as I know, our next and final stop will be Boston South Station. There's, there's another train there. Oh, so I guess this is just saying where we need to where we need to go to get to Boston. Okay. Okay, good. They're not they're not making us go the long way where you have to go down here and go all the way around at a very slow speed at 5 miles an hour. I'm glad we're not I'm glad so good. I'm glad we're not I'm glad we won't be doing that today. We are coming in to the city of Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, we better slow down. We can only do ten. Here we, we're only able to. We're only allowed to do ten. Come into Boston. What's that? A factory? It must be a factory or something. Yeah, coming into Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. Mass. Massachusetts. Massachusetts.
here we are at our final stop. Well, I guess I guess we haven't gone far enough, so it so if I guess if you I guess that's how the game works. If you don't go far enough, then they won't then then they'll still even though I'm on the platform, if I don't go to the blue marker, they'll they'll still they'll they'll still consider the task uncompleted. Attention passengers, we ask that you be patient for a few seconds as we adjust the train. Yeah, we have to stop like right on the thing. <laughs> 